Yes, that is the breaking shot of this long awaited final. Good evening to you, dear viewers. Welcome to the eight man competition that has been happening all day today from 11 a.m. Actually, it's known up to now that we are having the final match of the tournament between two of the usual suspects when it comes to the later stages of competitions that is Ibra and Caesar. For the money, they are racing two. 11 my name is peter chebe welcome to the stream tell a friend to tell a friend to come to the stream tag someone call someone ask someone not to sleep this is gonna be exciting this is entertainment this is going to be world class caesar versus ibra racing to 11 for victory of this competition the very last competition before both of the players join the uganda national team planning to set off for the all africa pool championships Before we proceed, kindly comment on how good or bad you find the video. Once again, kindly comment on how good or bad you find this video. If I find it's not good enough, maybe we have to restart it. If it is good enough, we are good to go. Please do one or two or three people telling me how the video looks on your screen before we proceed meanwhile on the scoreboard the scores for ibra are the ones on the left and for caesar are the ones on the right first frame of this match racing to 11 two protagonists normally of big prizes when ugandan pool is being played ibra versus caesar do not slip off it is going to be exciting
Thank you, Shafiq. You say the video is okay. Mishak. Yes, Arthur Kamukama. I've seen about five of you saying the video is okay. Maybe a brief on who these friendly but very rival young men are. The guy on table, Ibrahim Sejemba. Nicknamed Mayweather, has been playing pool for the better part of the last 10 years. He's a guy in his early 20s, if I'm not mistaken. He, If I'm not mistaken, if my accuracy tells me right, he must be 23, started playing pool. As a very young man, by the around the age of 12, he was playing pool, but only as a trainee of Mambole Pool Club, found in a suburb of Kampala. When he turned 16, with the permission to participate in the Uganda Pool League, Captain 8 Pool Club, one of the teams in the Uganda Pool League, signed him up for his services. He was a very mature player as a very young man already. In the year of 2016 and 17, helping his team to win their first league title. Team Captionate, he proceeded on to teams like Royal Giants and Mbali. The three teams here for which he has been playing, Ibra, has won Uganda League titles. In all of them, one of very few players to do that at a very, very young age as an individual he is a proud winner of so many accolades on the calendar of the pool association of uganda as he goes one nil up he is accredited for victory in the christmas cup championship of 2018 as well as the king of the table championship in the year 2022 outside of the pool association of uganda calendar he has won so many events like this one midway competitions but also individually organized recognized events not of the Pool Association of Uganda but of private organizers <clears throat> the ePlay Amigos Pool Championship he won it twice in 2020 as well as 21 uh, the Masaka New Year's Open Championship 2020 not forgetting the Kasubi double elimination competition 2019 as well as 2020 amongst so many others he's the only ugandan who has won two big competitions on away soil not on non, on ugandan soil 2019 he won the matthew Ngulube championship organized in zambia and of course very recently in fact exactly eight days ago he won the Grand Mchana Open Championship. Briefly, that is who Ibra is. He is nicknamed Mayweather after being a childhood fan of the American great boxer Floyd Mayweather. His management team is called the Management Team, also named after. Floyd Mayweather's management team which is called the Money Made Team and of course just seven days ago one more nickname was added onto him named by himself the Killer after chanting who the Killer is now after winning the Grand Michana Open Championship still celebrating that victory up to today that is Ibrahim Sejemba. His opponent, Caesar Chandiga, was born in the West Nile district of Uganda, in northwestern Uganda, in the district of Moyo, where he was born, but spent a good time growing up with his lovely mother in the north, northern district of Lira. As a growing boy, moved to Arua, another of the West Nile districts went back to Lira around the year 2015 where he started to play the sport of pool. He is such a fast learner to the effect that around 2017 as a very young man he qualified for the first time for the Nile Special National Open Pool Championship. This ongoing tournament that you are seeing he qualified as a very young man in 2017, 
getting recognition such that by 2018 the Gulu Pool Association had invited him that is further north from Lira to become part of the Gulu setup where he has been as a member as the people who have been nurturing him up to today by 2019 Ali a Kampala based club had signed him to join the Ugandan Pool League. The club was called the Kampala Central Pool Club. He represented them only for half a season. Then started in early 2019 in Kampala, a league of the very finest players in Uganda, playing out home and away for a year. 20 of them, Caesar was invited only on a wild card, he was invited not exactly as part of the 20 best players at the time, but as a wild card entrant, and he surprised everybody, including himself, winning that tournament with flying colors. He then uh, attracted Sharks Pool Club in the Zambian Pool League, becoming the first Ugandan to play semi professional pool. In Zambia, he won about 25 competitions of this sort by the way many of them made competitions spent there the better part of two years returned to the country late last year participating in so many competitions he has been as dominant in Uganda as he was in Zambia in Uganda so far if my count tells me right he has so far won 19 and most probably still counting Many of his performances also are in money matches, organized money matches, which you call battles. He has never, never, never lost any battle to any Ugandan. Ibra himself also has a good battle history in the country of Uganda. One of the reasons why he rose to prominence was in the year 2020 when he invited the majority of the Ugandan players, including top players, to no black money matches as well as the player had finished off their object balls they could win the frame Ibra won most of them including against senior players like Amos Jagumanai probably you know him Alfred Gumeki is a black sheep at the time the captain of the national team also Alan Nsubuga and Isaac Sebufu amongst others he also became the second Ugandan following Caesar to play semi-professional pool outside of the Ugandan Pool League, they became teammates with Sharks Pool Club. The two players have faced off a few times before in Zambia. They faced off in a few pool competitions, Ibra winning twice, Ibra once and Caesar twice when they came back here. If I'm not mistaken, they have faced off around five times with Ibra winning twice and Caesar thrice thereafter the first of in a money match that was organized around three months ago that one won was won by Caesar with about by the way four thousand US dollars at stake organized at Sabrina's at Beverly Hills in Kampala and on that day Caesar won twenty one eighteen they have not faced off up to present date for now they are racing to 11 for the victory, for the money, for pride, for bragging rights, for who will go to the Africa Championships as the beta form player. And the scores is 2-0. It is Ibrahim Sejemba in the lead. It is Ibrahim Sejemba. He seems to be very determined and having a game to match Caesar, at least so far. The two young men are very friendly, but on the table they are very, very, very big rivals. And the fans, to the fans, nothing 
like friends at all. Just try not to sleep, try not to blink, try to watch this match to completion. Ibrahim Sajemba with two visits. For the fact that Caesar has of late have had the better head-to-head -head performance against Ibra, you think that Ibra starting well is fair enough for this match because if you think that then we have a game on. Spina Shamira, you're asking the rest of the match. It is 11. The rest is 11. Brenda Akiror, interesting game. Thank you. You are watching from Elegu. Welcome to the stream. See Kayeji. You say this one had to be the Mchana final at one time, by the way. Many people thought that the players, these two will play out an all Ugandan final in China one week ago until Seth from Tanzania came from 5-1 down to eliminate Caesar. Page and Lovo. By the sound of your name, you must be Zimbabwean. Welcome to the stream. Fiona, Amandra, Opechia, or Sophia in London. Welcome to the stream. As we surpass the 1K mark, over 1.2k watching two games played only very much appreciated the fact that you guys always accord publicity to these players when they are showcasing their talents look at what Ibra is delivering his performance in the Grand Mchana Open besides of course taking the victory the trophy and the bragging rights that performance gives him more and more confidence taking on players like Caesar in competitions like this because there is now mutual respect between all parties knowing that everybody can deliver against the other. Thank you for watching Moses Bukenya BK. I think BK is supporting, let me guess. I think he's supporting Ibra. He normally supports whoever starts by playing better. And so far, without a shade of a doubt, Ibra has started playing a much better pool. At times, this young man, Ibra, when his game is on, can look very, very, very unbeatable. Many a times, if his break is on, he is very, very, very difficult to beat. And Aiden Joseph learned about that exactly nine days ago this should be shot on target yes it is three zero this level the break is the most important shot of the game the difference between victory and defeat can easily be determined by these breaks what can Ibra do full of confidence leads 3-0 him on the break hits it real hard the break is fair but for him maybe unfortunately no ball is ported The Reds are clearly the better positioned balls, no doubt which color of balls Caesar is going in for. 
but finishing them off in one visit will be another matter altogether. I actually do not remember a match where Caesar trailed 3-0 from three frames played. I do not remember in the recent history. He's a very, very, very strong starter. At times he finishes off his opponents simply by starting so well, almost bullying them, intimidating them off their usual performances. And before they know, the game is out of their hands. This time it is him. But look at this. I was anticipating a high a difficulty of him finishing off this frame in his current visit, counting on those two balls. And yet he just played a shot which opened them up and left them there for him to take. I think these young men are just, if they continue playing at this level, in not a very long time, they will be genuinely world class. How the right ball moves will be very deterministic of where this frame is likely to go. And I think Caesar has more or less gotten to where he wanted it to be. Maybe he will play ready off the cushion. Maybe play it direct. Plays it direct. Slightly dragging the white ball backwards. That is one of his managers, Malipita, at club level previously, who is pushing his player on. It is unusual territory Caesar is finding himself in trading 3-0. He is normally the guy who bullies his opponents at the start of most of the matches, and yet for today he is finding his equal. The last time they faced off, like I said before, these guys was in a money match organized at Beverly Hills in Kampala with four thousand US dollars at stake, and Caesar won a twenty-one eighteen. Look at that one! Look at that! At times he can be such a joy to watch. I did not see that coming. The most likely shot was maybe. A follow shot on the white ball off the cushion and yet he drew the white ball backwards when the white ball hit the cushion it had a big spin on it and within around three seconds of movement spinning on its own axis he got a direct white ball for black a jolly shot cannot be any better than that one someone kindly crop out that shot for me I would want to look at it again. Caesar 1, Ibra 3, racing to 11. The break is fair because he's a pot. Two yellows. But the placement of the balls maybe is not as good as he wanted to. But these are very, very, very able players. It will take a real bad game for him not to think of going for it right away.
Kani charisma ya secha ndigea forever Linda Vato Mabapa Mabapa Kalzita kila shot and I agree with you Bonga Sibanyoni Thank you for watching Deo Halix Henry Mack Amandra Opichia show in the comment section who you are supporting I know you have been club mates teammates with Ibra Sejemba before and yet this is Caesar who has roots in Arua where you come from you must be conflicted on who you're supporting show in the comment section who you do really support in this one and don't tell any lies this is Caesar trying to go for this frame he will have one problem of a red ball to contend with that red ball near the two yellows which are next to the black ball maybe the only place where it is portable in a direction is the center pocket Very good shooting. You need the times to be near the table to realize the effect of the player's stroke on the movement of the white ball at times. It looks so sublime, but unfortunately he misses on the penultimate shot before the black ball. These are the situations where Ibra normally survives. There's no doubt in my mind that the first quarter of this match, uh, meaning the first five games, have been convincingly, the first quarter has been convincingly, convincingly won by Ibra. Shooting better, making no unforced errors, you can realize that this frame has maybe not been won by Ibra, but been lost by Caesar when he had an opportunity to put his penultimate shot in the center pocket, he missed as he intended to get an accurate white for the black and how Ibra came up to punish that miss is what makes him at least for the start of the match the on form shooter for one after five frames played Ibra in the lead against Caesar How will Ibra break? Scattering of the balls is good. And he pots. One red potted. The yellows are the better looking balls. For a player of this level, maybe his mind is even on the black ball. Because all of the yellows, six of them, actually seven, 
are there for his taking. It is very unlikely for him at least not to reach the black ball in his current visit of the table and I know he must play one shot which will be intentioned at opening up that black ball. That is definitely the shot according to the placement of the white ball for him to open up that black ball. Simply rolling the ball, the effect is natural. Unfortunately for him, the corner pocket right of your screen is now occupied by scissors red after that shot. Thank you for watching. My name is Gobi Peter Bradley. Definitely supporting Ibra that much. I know. Anderson Lepo. Thank you for watching. David Shambari. Jonathan. Connie Charisma. Your team Caesar from Kenya. And yes, I'll say hi to your people in Kansanga. This guy is really shooting good today. He knows Ibra that to defeat Caesar, he needs to reproduce the form that won the Grand Michana Open. He needs to play as well as he was playing that day. If he 
is to defeat Caesar. He knows that and he's doing exactly that so far, at least so far. For one, one ball to go for Ibra. Maybe he's trying out a combination shot, cutting the yellow, slicing it, putting both balls in the corner pocket closest to your screen and does that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is a player in tip top form. That shot was incredibly, incredibly difficult, even if the keyboard was closer to his yellow. But he needs to see it off with a pot of this black, which he does so easily and now leads 5 1. And the fans start to chant who is the killer now slogans. But I must tell you that shot. That clearance was very, very, very beautiful. With the big command Zulu, you say super, super shooting from Ibra. To thank Pizza, you said respect Ibra and you wave the dollar symbol, maybe signaling the China Open victory, Daniel Tiwange Makanduide. You say that shot has rattled Caesar. But this Caesar is not the guy you can rattle, he's not the guy against whom you lead 5 1, and then you think that it's all done. You can remember what happened when he battled Aiden. It is not done. It is not done, and not when your opponent is Caesar. That is very good. One thing I, I promised you, and which you are definitely getting, is maximum entertainment in this match. And yes, it is maximum entertainment. Liam Zimusanguzi says he is it is God versus God. For as long as this guy breaks, scatters the balls well and puts the ball, you think that something is bound to happen. He has gone for the reds, 
has closed the table. Ibra playing reds. One thing on his mind is to finish off this game. Is he opening up the red ball near the black with this shot? He pots and opens it up very good. The rest for a player of this level should be easy pickings. He has played the all important shot, which gives him a strong grip on this frame. 5 2 Ibra in the lead. What is 5-2 looks seemingly, seemingly about to become 6. Saying so because of how good Ibra has been shooting in this match so far. He will simply roll the white ball in a follow motion, play it round those two yellows, maybe off to cushions to put black ball in the corner pocket left background of your screen and that must be the idea off to cushions accurate shooting and he sinks it in six to ladies and gentlemen Thank you. 
Ibra once again on the attack when his game is on anybody can fall anybody can die look at what he's so far turning Caesar into today he misses this time that is almost criminal especially when your opponent is Caesar when you get your turn your opportunity your chance to punish him please do I really believe that your decision ladies and gentlemen to hold your sleep to wait until you watch this match is so far fully being vindicated when you are watching these guys one thing you are assured of is entertainment Ibra taking on the black and the fouls in the process now six for Ibra three for Caesar Caesar is reminded that it's Ibra's break and doesn't need to rock the balls. 6-3, rest to 11 for Ibra to achieve victory. He needs 5 and for Caesar he needs 8. That means maximum we have 12 games to go. Maximum that is if they are played to the wire, to play to the divider. Yeah, I see that you 
This is Caesar trying to pull another back. Just reminding Ibra and his fans that he is still in this match. 6-3.
In the meantime, the Ibra who is playing now is the same Ibra who played around eight days ago to win the Grand Michana Open Championship. I mean, 
the performance, the delivery, the form he's exhibiting today. You do not simply come from anywhere and lead 8-4 against Caesar.
Because uh, nine four ladies and gentlemen, as the Ibra breaks and pots, it is very, very unfamiliar territory for Caesar. It is very rare to see him reaching a final and not winning it. It has happened once or twice before in my memory. One weekly competition where he lost a final to Savimbi, another to Patrick Sechilime. Out, apart from those, all I can remember are victories for as long as he reaches the final, whether here in Uganda or across the borders. If Ibra can somehow pull off this frame to make it stand for, it will be almost impossible now for Caesar to win.
what a clearance that has been from Ibra increases his lead to 10-4 all along I've been thinking Caesar will want to have some time out he's being courageous to remain fighting and fighting and fighting without going out Ibra 10 Caesar 4 rest 11 Ibra on the verge of this victory very clear favorite now
And yes, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's already morning. It's already Tuesday. In the meantime, the winner of today's eight-man competition is none other than the Grand Mchana Open winner, Ibrahim Sejemba, after winning the final very, very, very convincingly against Caesar Chandega. Final score was 11 five i remain peter chevy live thank you for the audience thank you for watching thank you for loving pool thank you for supporting these players i also want to thank you in advance for supporting me when you go to my youtube channel you peter chevy live to watch uploads of some of these videos please do watch the ads please do watch the ads for now i wish you a wonderful evening may god bless and i sign out